This video is sponsored by Noisy Clan. The company Noisy Clan reached out to me recently to see if I could have a look at one of their products, specifically the Circle of Fifths decoder. Let's explore what makes this decoder so useful and why you should consider getting one for yourself. So what is the Circle of Fifths decoder? The Circle of Fifths decoder does precisely what it says. It decodes the Circle of Fifths and extracts some of the most vital pieces of information in a very clear and easy to understand way. For example, if you wanted to find the chords in the key of G major, you would simply turn the wheel of the decoder until G appears at the top of the wheel. From here, you will instantly be able to find the seven available chords in the key of G. The one, four, and five chords, being G, C, and D, appear at the top of the decoder, and the two, three, and six chords at the bottom. The seventh chord, in this case, F sharp diminished, will be shown in the center of the wheel. This, of course, makes writing chord progressions easy by selecting any of these chords in whichever order your ear guides you. If you're new to writing chord progressions, you'll also find a very helpful guide on the back of the decoder, which will show you the 12 most common chord progressions. For example, a 1, 4, 6, 5 progression. Turning the decoder around again would show you that the 1, 4, 6, and 5 chords in the key of G would be G, C, E minor, and D. Now, say for example you wanted to play this same chord progression in a different key, all you would need to do is turn the decoder's wheel to your desired key center and play the same 1, 4, 6, 5 progression. Now you may have also noticed two extra chords slightly frosted over displayed at either side of the decoder. This is an interesting feature showing you two chords that you could borrow from another key to add to any of your progressions. While neither of these chords fit precisely in the key, they can be exciting chords to bring into the mix to spice up a chord progression. For example, Take a simple 1-5-4 progression in the key of D major. And now add the borrowed chord, in this case C, inside the frosted window to the left of the decoder. In this video, I won't go into depth regarding the theory behind these chords. You could, however, call the chord on the left a secondary subdominant and the chord on the right a secondary dominant. This is explained very clearly in the accompanying booklet. Now we also have a small window on the front face of the decoder that, as you turn the wheel, tells you how many sharps or flats are in each key signature, complete with the order of flats and sharps displayed underneath. This is especially useful if you're relatively new to sight reading and identifying key signatures from standard notation. A brilliantly innovative feature of the Circle of Fifths decoder is the built-in pop-out stand that simply pulls out and connects with two studs. This allows you to place the stand on any flat surface without the need to balance it in an awkward position. This cleverly designed stand can then be flat packed and placed in a gig bag or a music folder. The Circle of Fifths decoder comes complete with a very well put together accompanying book that not only goes into far more depth about how to use the decoder, but also has chapters on intervals, chord building, songwriting, scale building, soloing, modes, and much more. If you are relatively new to the world of songwriting and theory, and don't quite yet understand how to play certain chord shapes displayed on the Circle of Fifths decoder, then a handy guitar chord chart reference is also included, showing each chord in every key. So whether you're a music teacher, hobbyist, songwriter, or simply a musician interested in gaining a deeper understanding of music theory and the Circle of Fifths, I highly recommend picking up a Circle of Fifths decoder for yourself. Follow the link in the description and use the code SAMJAM20 to get 20% off your order. Thanks again to Noisy Clan for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you in the next one.